Welcome back, everybody. So romance is in the air, and so are romance scams. They just go hand in hand. Where there is good, there's always bad, right? So according to the Federal Trade Commission, romance scams come with a median cost of $2,600 for their victims. And for victims older than 70, the median loss even higher at $10,000. That is hard to believe. So here to unpack this, tell us more about this trend and how you can protect yourself and your loved ones is Joe Nolan, president and CEO of Jack's Federal Credit Union. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you having me. God, I mean, I you know, I even get these these emails and these texts and you just usually ignore them. They seem so far-fetched that it's hard to believe people are still fooling for it. It was amazing. Uh, first off, I, I can't believe I'm on a news channel talking about romance scams. Right. But this is a real problem. It's a real problem. The 2019 numbers aren't out yet, but in 2018, there was reported over $143 million in losses related to romance scams. That was actually higher than any other scam reported to the FTC in that year. What's the line that kind of sucks people in, or is it just the vulnerability that you're lonely? Well, you know, here's the ironic part. It's not a highly complex or elaborate scam. Right. I mean, it starts out very simple, and that's why you got to be so careful. And, and here's how it goes. They start a fake profile, and they target victims on social media or online dating sites and they quickly build a relationship. And, and what they're doing is they're toying with or manipulating people's emotions and feelings so they right. can steal their money. So the key is if someone's asking you for money, that's the first red flag. You know, there's, there's no one red flag. There's a whole lot of things. I, I always tell folks, just, you know, slow down and, 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 and be very careful and thoughtful. Right. But, you know, when, when you have folks that you've never met them in person, as an example, um, they very quickly say to you, uh, I, I'm, I'm in love with you. Right. Um, you. You're the answer to my dreams. Yeah, we're not that great. And then they start asking for money. Yeah. Uh, for, and it is typically what we see is it's, it's for an emergency or travel related. Right. Or maybe it's a business opportunity or a temporary situation. I, I always think that if, some, if you're meeting someone you know, face to face, you're usually right. putting your best foot forward. You're not like, oh no, my life is falling apart. And so <laughs> someone online is giving you that sob story, that, that may be a sign that this isn't necessarily true. Right, but you gotta remember though, these scammers, I mean, they are very they're, skilled at doing this. So doing. you say that, but they know that that's what you're thinking. So yeah. they're already ahead of you on that. And they're building a relationship very quickly. And they're, and they're sucking you in. And yeah. they, you know, the most vulnerable are folks that are single. We see a lot of seniors mm -hmm. that are lonely. 70 years old, they lose $10,000. I mean, it skyrockets. It's four times the amount of money is lost. Yeah. And we work with our members and we see this. This is happening daily in Florida. And we're working with our members continually to help monitor and stop these activities. Right. This is a real problem. It, and I and I and I kind of want to retract what I said in the beginning because it's not the person's necessarily their fault. Yeah. You know, they are tricked. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you just have to be savvy and realize that those are out there. And right. there's nothing if you if you if you get caught up in one, you shouldn't be embarrassed about it. Just get the help that you need. Right. So when you get caught up in it, the first thing I always say is this: just pause, mm -hmm. slow down, do not send the money, and do not let them rush you because those are actually red flags. Okay. I need it by tomorrow. I need right. it by next week. Stop. Talk to somebody that you know and trust. Right. Notify your credit union or your bank. Contact the FTC. Actually, if you're on an online website, contact them and let them know as well. Right. But the whole point or anything I would tell any of the Florida residents is slow down and let things play out. Right. And what you'll find is they're going to show when they start getting angrier. Why didn't you? You didn't try to help me. Right. You don't love me. Right. I just met you two weeks ago. I don't love you. Yeah, exactly. And and the thing is, though, you would think if I start getting suspicious that they would back off. But sometimes, like you just said, they get more aggressive. Right. Yeah. Well, what they do is, again, remember, it's manipulating your emotions and your feelings. That's the whole okay. gig here for them. And what they do is they put it back on you. Because you didn't help me, now my happened. family's going to yeah. suffer or I'm going to suffer or I'm going to miss this opportunity, this life-changing opportunity. Right. So now they make you feel guilty, which makes you want to do more for them. Yeah. That's interesting. Love takes time, online or in person. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. So keep that in mind. Thanks for coming in yeah, and sharing. Thank you so much. I think it's really important information. Also, you guys are having an event, which I know so many of our viewers are looking forward to. Please go and get rid of your documents in a safe way. Your sensitive personal information, it is one of the most effective ways to make sure that your information stays out of the hands of criminals. So again, this Saturday, Jack's Federal Credit Union will host a free shred day. They've been doing it now for eight, 10 years, so they know what they're doing. And also a fraud pre prevention seminar at the headquarters on Park Street near Five Points. Don't bring your boots. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking some of the crazy things people bring, but bring your stuff and they'll shred it for you. You know, take it out of binders, I would imagine. Correct. Like there's some things that you can do to help it go faster. But that shredding day starts at nine o'clock. And again, then the seminar is at 10. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much All for right. having me. Vic, over